Hey everybody, it's Mike with the 1974 GMC. Just kind of showing you the inside and I'll get a little bit closer view. Iris is making a lot of racket. But uh, so this is where the beds are going to be. And basically this is just for temporary support right now. But uh, what I've got going is we made a we made a board to go across the back there. Um, that is uh, basically cut out around all the contours in the back because basically I want to be able to seal along there with caulk and what have you so that, uh, that uh, as a mouse barrier, if you will, because everything underneath is going to be storage or cold storage accessible from the outside. And you can see I ended up, I guess, not really worrying about the lights. We kind of went right out there right there at the base of the light. Um, I may still go to LEDs if, if I find something I like. But what I figured out is because of the, the angle where this is coming back towards you, it really doesn't necessarily hurt me to have that pocket there. And I can, it's gonna be foam mattresses so I can just notch that area out of the foam if it's a problem. But you can see that we anchored aluminum across, aluminum channel across, and then rabbited that down so that this is flush here and then I have another piece of one inch angle that's this piece that goes across and there's going to be a, a board supporting that so it right now it's just being held up by this little temporary support um, just to just to hold it in place and give, give me an idea of what's going on but then I'm gonna box in underneath and some of underneath will be inside storage and some of underneath will be outside storage. Here's Iris chewing a bone on the floor, making a lot of noise. So that's kind of where I am right now. Oh, I was going to show you what I did underneath here. Let me get down a little bit. So what I did under here, if you can see up there, is I just made some angle iron or angle aluminum brackets bolted them through the rib and then screwed them up into that board. So that gives that really, really good support on that back panel. And I did it on the inside of this one, both both sides of this one, and kind of the same thing over there. I didn't do anything in the middle. It was it was solid enough. So And there's really not going to be a lot of weight. There's going to basically be maybe a drawer or something in the middle there. So... So kind of uh, just getting around to what's going to happen uh, with this. And let me, I'm going to pause you for a second and lay this board back down so you can see it. So there it is. That's basically two uh, normal house size twin bed uh, platforms. So that'll, uh, should provide for nice, comfortable sleeping. And I guess, I don't know. What everybody's, uh, what everybody's thoughts on a motorhome are, but uh, my thought is, is that it's a vehicle for my wife and I to travel around the country, do a little camping in, you know, do uh, whatever, but I want, one thing I want is a good night's sleep, and so I want to be relatively comfortable, and so like I said, there you go, they're two full-size twins, and hopefully that'll, uh, with my wife and I and two dogs, that'll be uh, okay. And then, you know, I, I, I need a bathroom so that I don't have to get out in the middle of the night or if we're going down the road and my wife wants to go to the bathroom, she can walk back and go to the bathroom. You know, I don't need, a, you know, dual sinks and, and, and that kind of thing. And then I want a fairly generous living area out here uh, where, you know, if it's raining, you could do a puzzle or a small project, sit and watch TV, something like that. But uh, the point of this vehicle is to travel around the country and see the sights, not to spend all my life in this uh, small space. So that's, that's kind of my thoughts, and hopefully it, uh, it works out. But uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye.